Alright guys, welcome to the very first tutorial for Slave Hack 2. So in this tutorial we're just going to go through the basic tutorial uh, and it's basically just a watch and see thing. So uh, as you can see up here in the top right hand corner we have our IP address. You always want to keep this hidden um, and that prevents other players from being able to connect to you and installing viruses. The next thing that we are going to look at is our logs window. You can access your logs window by going down here to the bottom left and clicking on this little menu icon here. These logs are very important. You always want to delete your local logs and your remote logs. That way uh, nobody can track what you're doing and that'll be more apparent later on. Uh, this is your file explorer. Uh, you can also access uh, your files uh, through the terminal, which will show up in a little bit. Uh, this is uh, this has various um, softwares already installed. Uh, so the first one is the water wall. The water wall will um, allow you to go through a firewall, and a firewall obviously protects you from uh, you know attacks from other players. Now, if their water wall is a lower level than your firewall, then uh, they will not get through. The pulse sensor is what allows you to uh, actually hack uh, and crack codes. Um, there is absolutely no reason whatsoever to upgrade your pulse sensor. It will not help you in any way, shape, or form, so do not upgrade the pulse sensor. This is the terminal here. Um, as you can see, it's already popped up for us. Um, this is uh, this is going to be the quickest way to um, go about deleting a lot of your stuff. Uh, however, the logs window is going to be faster for deleting your logs. And the next part that we are going to take a look at is the terminal actions. Uh, so obviously the uh, the number one thing if you ever get lost is just typing in help and hitting enter and that will uh, show you a list of all of the available terminal commands uh, that you can run from inside the terminal uh, everything from cracking passwords to tracking logs and everything else there's a lot to uh, there's a lot of commands and we'll go over those more in depth a little bit later Every command also has a help flag for it as well. So if you don't know uh, exactly how the command works, say upload here, uh, you can just type in upload dash help, and then they will uh, the terminal will print out for you the way to use, uh, you know, upload, etc. So it's actually a really good command. It uh, helps you with the syntax of uh, how things are supposed to uh, to be entered into the terminal. Also, uh, you can uh, create aliases for certain terminal commands. So this one here is going to be alias give, and this give, uh, if you type give, it will actually mean the upload command. So uh, we'll create that now. So now you can actually type give instead of upload, and uh, it makes it a little bit easier. Now, this is your menu. Uh, you can access this menu by clicking the little paw icon down on the left-hand side. Um, there are going to be a couple of objectives. You need to make sure to obviously keep your uh, you know, IP hidden, but also you want to become extremely rich. The more rich you are, the better off you are uh, for upgrading your CPU network and uh, hard drive and external hard drive and stuff like that. Now, that arrow right there, uh, allows you to scroll through the different, uh, you know, different pages of the the menu, and uh, it also just goes back. Um, so that's about it for the basic tutorial. Uh, and in the next tutorial, we are going to actually skip um, all of the advanced uh, the advanced tutorials that are built into the system, and we're going to get on with actual uh, gameplay. All right, see you guys in the next tutorial. Oh, 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 oh,